and they're just like, everything's crazy, and they're just, ah, 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 ah. There we go. <laughs> this is exciting. This looks so like saturated because it's so green because before I was just flying in the winter time. Wow. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and today we are going to be flying the Budget Basher and I'm really excited because we haven't flown in a while. Like it was like winter time the last time I flew back here and um, now it is full on springtime, which means we should be able to see the branches and it does look really blurry, but it also looks really green. And I just put Betaflight 4.0 on this thing and you'll notice we have these stick, uh, stick, what the heck are they called? Uh, you know, on, on, on screen display, it shows where my stick positions are. That's what it is, stick positions. And for some reason, I don't know why it has BL or BLI or whatever it is. I don't, I think that's a glitch or something. So if you can, if you know why that's doing that and how to fix that on the stick positions, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, uh, real quick, you'll also notice, let's see, on the right hand, I have the, the G force to, cause I thought that might be interesting to see if that is accurate or what it does. And then on the left, I have my throttle position. And then I also have my or throttle percentage. And then I also have the on the top there is the I believe that's the pitch in degrees. And then on the bottom, the roll degrees. Anyway, let's fly this around. I haven't even really flown this, so this might be a short flight if it screws up. We're gonna put it into air mode, and here we go. Oh, it feels so good to be flying this again. Oh my gosh! Because you know we were having issues with this. Uh, with it doing like these death spiral thingies. I'm hoping that with the, the new versions of beta flight and stuff, maybe that will be fixed. But uh Yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll see here. Let's just fly it around a little bit. Um It has been a little while, but now we can actually like see branches and stuff. Man, I'm I'm feeling a little rusty, honestly. I really am. I'll tell you what though, I was flying my other quadcopter around and that thing is kind of a piece of junk compared to this thing now. And the camera, it's a CADX camera. I think it's kind of an early version CADX camera. And it's kind of, um, well it sucks compared to this one. I, I think I need to, I think I need to refocus the camera though, because this is looking a little blurry to me anyway. So, um, hey, it's really fun to just fly around, but one thing I've been wanting to talk about well, one thing I've just been finding interesting, and I meant to talk about it a long time ago, is let's talk about flight styles. Have you ever noticed how, like, you know, there's obviously, like, once you learn to fly, you can fly in, you know, different ways. There's not one right way to fly your quadcopter. But, like, some people, you know, certain pilots, like, well-known pilots, they'll have a certain style of flying. And some people like that, and some people don't. And what I've noticed... And you let me know in the comments. I think there's, I think the two major types of flight styles are the kind that is fun to fly and the kind that's fun to watch. And I think the kind that's fun to watch is much more smooth. Like I would say, like Le Drib is probably my favorite, you know, well-known FPV pilot. And then probably Schizo. Um, and partially because their flying is just so, it's so like smooth you know it's so um flowy it's just i find it very pleasing to watch and then there's some pilots like uh oh probably like mr steel and and, and schizo to some extent and, and various others that they like their super fast rates and they're just like everything's crazy and they're just ah 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 see i almost killed myself just trying to fly like they do. Man, my heart's pounding. And so you get what I'm saying. So it's like, like when you're doing all these like crazy flips and stuff and, and rolls, like you know what you're doing because you're flying. But other people, they're just along for the ride and they have no idea what's going to happen. And I find that not very fun to watch. But that's just me. And I just thought that was interesting, and I thought I'd bring that up. So let me know what kind of flying styles you like or, or what how you would describe your flying style uh, in the comments section below. 
like I said, I'm I'm kind of rusty, so I'm just kind of I'm just kind of getting a feel for everything. Look at this! Oh, look at these branches! I mean, look at these leaves! Look, look at that! Oh, oh, oh! Yay! That's one of my favorite things to do. It's doing those. It's kind of like a split S flip thingy over this branch here, but in the winter time you can't see the branches because there aren't any leaves. That is so fun. And one thing I'll say, as far as my, you know, I, I would say I, I prefer a smoother flight style. And I think that I have noticed that basically you just, well, your rates are going to matter. So your, your, your rates do matter. So how, how many degrees per second your quadcopter is going to move and all that sort of thing and how touchy your sticks are. But basically just moving the sticks way less. Because I've noticed that it seems like, uh, and we got to stop here in just a second, but it seems like the, uh, like when you watch it later, you notice all these movements that you made that you wouldn't even notice as you're flying. Like I've noticed one thing, like uh, long range pilots and stuff, it's so cool when they're like going down the mountain. But I've noticed that like for some reason, or, or maybe it's not even a mountain, but it's like a flat thing. They'll do this thing. And it's like, it doesn't, that doesn't look good. I mean, I do that too. Like, it's just, it's this weird thing that like, you just kind of, as you're flying, I think it's fun. You know, you're just kind of, you're kind of doing this and then you're going this way and you're like, Ooh, isn't that neat? But when you're watching it, you're like, geez, man, stay still. Anyway, let me know what you think about that. Cause I think that's, that's just something I kind of noticed. Woo. Oh man. So yeah, I, I, I will be the first to tell you, I do not fly enough to really tell you whether I notice any difference in the performance for this new beta flight uh, thing. I will say that we haven't had a death roll yet, which is great. And I'm excited about the on-screen uh, stick display, even though it looks kind of crummy right now, uh, basically, but yeah. So anyway, our battery is getting a little bit low. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna bring it in here, but it's fun hanging out with you guys, flying around. Springtime is upon us, old oh, man, and uh, it's time to get out there and fly. So, uh, you know, do all the stuff. Give this video a like if you liked it. Comment about the things that I said, and I will see you on the next one. Except I won't, because but you'll see me. You'll see me on the next one. <laughs>